Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper and in this video we're going to demonstrate the offline map feature in ICOMS Android application RS-MS1 Alpha. One of the great features of this application when it pairs up to the D-Star radio is it pulls GPS data from the radio. As you can see there I have a lock. The GPS icon or satellite icon is solid. So the radio with its internal GPS receiver is passing that GPS data out through the data cable into the USB port of the Android device running the application and now I can go into the map feature and select map the Android application will go out to the internet via the internet and pull down a Google map and plot my position and that position of the repeaters in my area and other radios operating in my area and this is a really neat feature door normal situations but what happens if the grid goes down and there is no internet well you won't be able to pull this map down and this is why I think the offline map feature is perfect for preppers and emergency preparedness and let me demonstrate I have four maps already loaded that I created we'll go to offline map and there's my four options I have one that I did high resolution here in the neighborhood and then with Microsoft Paint I added my own grid a custom grid and now I have an offline map that will pull my GPS coordinates from the radio and plot my position on that map or the position of any other radios I pick up within the area of this map. So what I'll do now is I'm going to roll over to the computer, fire up the desktop capture software and show you how I capture those maps with Google Earth Pro, format them and prepare them to be imported into the application. I first like to start by saying that this method I'm about to show you is not the only method out there, it's the method that worked best for me. The first thing I did was download a copy of Google Earth Pro. It's free now, and I'll put a link down below in the description box. Here's the password. We'll spin up the Pro version here. Give it a moment. And what the Pro version gives you is a new icon that allows you to save an image out to a file. And this is how we're going to capture our map so we can export it from the computer and import it to the tablet as an offline map. So when you're in the field and the grid goes down, you'll still have that map to work with. The first thing we're going to have to do is change the latitude and longitude format. The Android application from ICOM requires that when you import a map that you provide the latitude and longitude in decimal degree format. And right now the lower right hand corner, it's degrees, minutes, and seconds. So we're going to go up to Tools click options. We're going to go from degrees, minutes, and seconds to decimal degrees. Hit apply and hit OK. So now we're ready to go. We're going to go ahead and put in a city where we want to create a map. I'm going to put Winchester, Virginia. And let's say we're going to pick a community and we're going to search for a lost dog. And we want to have that map offline because there's no cell phone coverage or there was a storm and the grid's down. But we want to get out there and find somebody. So we're going to go ahead and create a community map here and let's say this is our community here we live somewhere in one of these blocks now one of the things that Google Earth will do when you zoom in and out is it tips the image so the first thing we want to do is fix that we're going to go to view reset tilt and compass and that'll square everything up that makes everything north it makes everything flat now like I said to import this map you have to tell the application the latitude and longitude in decimal degrees and we set that in the options, so now we're going to capture it for this image. So the upper left hand corner here, we're going to need the latitude and longitude. So what I do is, if you look at the latitude and longitude down here, is I put the mouse hand up here in the very corner, and then with a pen and piece of paper offline, I just write that down. 39, 185, 375, then negative 78, 172, 757 and now we'll move that mouse down to the lower right hand corner and we'll capture that data there and that is going to be 39 178 357 negative 78 dot 162 122 so now we have the latitude and longitude of the upper left hand corner and the lower right hand corner. Now we're going to save this image, so we're going to hit save image. We're going to have to put our map options in there. We're going to take all the labels off. We don't need them. And we're going to have to set this. We're going to save this as option one. 
Go ahead and save. We'll overwrite the old one. The RSMS1A application allows you to import a map that's 5,000 pixels by 5,000 pixels or smaller in the PNG format or the JPEG format. So we're going to save this as a JPEG, but we're going to select the maximum pixels that Google Earth Pro will let us have, and that's 4,800 by around 4,000, which is almost to our max of 5,000 by 5,000. It's still a nice size map, so that's pretty convenient. And we're going to go ahead and save this image, and we'll put uh, Area Home 1. We'll hit Save. It'll send it out to the folder, and we'll go out and check that map in the folder. We already wrote the latitude and longitude down on a piece of paper. We'll let this image save out. We'll go ahead and close Google Earth or minimize it here. We'll go to our folder, open that up, home area one, and there's our map. It opened up in paint. Now if you really wanted to be creative, while you had it in paint, you could do neat things like put your own grid squares in. So you could say, this is grid square one, we'll make that line a little bit thicker. We'll make another grid square over here, grid square two, grid square three. You can put images, let's say you've already searched this area here looking for a lost pet, you can mark this off. And in my previous videos I showed you how to share images between these devices with the data cable. You can actually share this information, these maps back and forth. We'll go ahead and cancel out of this. We won't save it. Don't save. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and email this image to myself so I can check my mail on the tablet and import that image to the device and then we'll go ahead and open up the application and I'll show you how we import that as an offline map within the RS MS1 Alpha application. Be right back guys. Okay guys, I hope you can see this okay. I'm going to try working around the tripod here. We already downloaded that email that had the image that we just created, so we're going to go ahead and open up the ICOM application. It's going to connect to the radio, which is a little bit off screen here. What we're going to do is go into the menu here and hit Application Settings. And we're going to scroll down to the Map section. Offline Map Settings, Register, Edit, and Offline Map. I already have some maps loaded. We're going to add an offline map. We're going to select a file. And I already have it here in my recents or my gallery, Area Home 1 JPEG. But now it's going to ask for the latitude and longitude. And we already wrote that down on a piece of paper 39.185375 negative. 78.172.757 the lower right corner is 39.178.357 we'll go down to the longitude which is negative 78.162.122 import start and now we're importing that image we created on Google Maps put the latitude and longitude for the corners and we're going to put that into the application now if we were in Winchester Virginia and the grid went down we could fire up the radio with the GPS lock and plot ourselves on the map we created ourselves so now we can go ahead and select our map we're going to hit area home one going to load that map up because we have the higher resolution, the 4000 by 4000 plus or minus a few pixels, we can zoom in and out really easy and maintain a nice image there, a nice resolution, and we have a lot of area to cover there. And I think that's a really powerful tool and definitely something that applies to emergency communications and prepping. We're going to get this out in the car. We're going to drive around and show you how this works live with the radio. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a video on the offline map feature in ICOM's Android application RS-MS1 Alpha. Thanks for watching guys.